Hi guys, my name is Costa and today we are going to talk about backtrader indicators, how they can be used in a strategy and we'll use this knowledge in the following episodes to create more advanced trading strategies. Let's see how we can implement this. First, we need to create a class called stock RSI. From the documentation, we know that it needs to inherit from bt.indicator class. Next, we need to define the lines it will hold. This is an object that will hold the information that we'll calculate for each line in our input data. So, for each line, a value will be calculated and it will be added in the lines object. We also need to specify some parameters. In this specific case, we need to define the lookback period, which will be 14 periods, as defined in the function. Because our dataset contains daily prices, this means that we are going to calculate the stochastic RSI values using the last 14 days. The init function will hold all the calculations. Here, because we are using other indicators such as RSI, it will pre-calculate all the values of our input data as shown here. What that means is that for each line of our input data, we'll have a parameter indicating the stochastic RSI value. Let's use the indicator to build our strategy. We create a class named Stock RSI Strategy. As we've seen in the previous videos, it needs to inherit from bt.strategy class. On the init function, we are going to initialize the Stock RSI indicator we've created earlier. The next function is called for each line of input data. Our buy signal will check that the previous stochastic RSI value is less than the current value and also that the current value is less than 0.2. Similarly, for the sell signal, we want our previous stochastic RSI value to be bigger than the current and also the current value to be bigger than 0.8. Let's see this in Investopedia. As shown here in this article, a stock RSI reading above 0.8 is considered overbought. What that means for us is that it's a good opportunity to sell. And similarly, if, if the value is below 0.2, it's considered over, oversold. So in this case, we can buy. And to go one step further in our strategy, here's what we've done. For buys, we've said, let, let's um, imagine this is the previous stock RSI value and we are in this point in time. So the previous RSI value, stock RSI value, is less than the current um, stock RSI value and also the value is moving uh, upwards and more than 0.2. So for us, this means it's a good opportunity to buy. To buy. The last part will be to create the buy logic and the sell logic. Let's run this and observe the graph. As shown in the slides, here we have the stock RSI indicator calculating all the stochastic RSI values for each line of our input data using the 14 uh, periods back. Here we have um, our stochastic RSI strategy and as shown again in the slides, we have our buy logic and our sell logic. And the last part to piece everything together is the run function which initializes backtrader sets sets the cash to 100,000 uh, US dollars sets the data the input data for this example i've used bitcoin to US dollars and the last uh, step is to run and plot let's do this and here we have um, our graph. The green color indicates the buy orders and the red color indicates the sell orders. This graph uh, at the bottom indicates the stochastic RSI values and as you can see it goes from uh, 0 to 1. With the blue color here we can see that our trade was profitable and with the red it means it wasn't. And on, at the top we can see the, um, how our portfolio grew over uh, the last two years that we have run this uh, back, back trading strategy. To conclude, in this video we learn how to create a new indicator and use it in one of our strategies. Thanks for watching, if you like the video please subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.